Good morning, everyone. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Phil Kopp. I am the CEO of Connectric Networks, and I, I like to make videos every once in a while just to kind of let everyone know what's going on here uh, in our company and just talk about stuff in general related to energy or wireless technology, um, things that we work on in our company. And I haven't had a lot of time uh, recently to, to, to make videos. Um, just been really busy with like customer projects and everything, um, events and speaking. But I, I walked in to our engineering lab this morning and I saw something phenomenal. It's just so cool. I, I had to make a video about this and share it with everyone. So you could see um, what it means to engineer like high precision sensing hardware and wireless communications. Um, so I walk in, right? And, and I see this. Okay. So this is a lamp. So you can kind of see what's going on. I'm going to kind of spin this around here. And under the lamp right here, we have this pulse sensor. It's just a regular onset data logger. And it's just counting up. It's counting like 10 pulses um, well under a second. I mean, it's, it's counting up pulses pretty fast. It's connected to, um, let's see here to this so this is a pulse sensor um, you can see how fast it's reading the pulses every time that blinks that's one pulse so that's happening 10 times every time this thing counts up and it's connected to a pulse generator and that pulse generator is connected to this wire right here let's see this wire coming up to this box and I can't tell you exactly what's inside of this box, but there's something in this box that's communicating wirelessly because it has an antenna and generating a pulse signal over that wire to the pulse generator that's being read on the pulse sensor. That's being read on this data logger. And over here, not too far away from it, here you have an actual Connectric sensor um, a pulse sensor. This is what we call our pulse sensor, literally pulse sensor. And you can see there's a little amber light blinking there. And that means that's sending a wireless radio transmission. So what it's doing is it's reading all those pulses off of this pulse sensor. Um, and it's sending them out like super fast and on batteries. You gotta remember um, that these are battery powered sensors um, normally. So what is happening here actually is one of our engineers, actually this is our CTO's desk. So it's not just an average engineer. He set this up so that he could test the limit of how many pulses that our sensor can read and transmit. How fast, basically, we can do it. And he did this because he did some other test. He was doing it the other day, and he was, like, comparing... He sent 120,000 pulses. And I think he said his count was off that he thought by, by like 12. But that was before he had this data logger connected to it. I don't know how he was checking it. But that was like, that's like one ten thousandth of a percent margin of error. That's not bad. But wasn't good enough so we get this 
and this. Uh, and, and now that going on here. Uh, when I left the office yesterday, this wasn't here. That was pretty late. That was already like afternoon. I had to go to FedEx, drop off a package, 5 p.m. Um, so I just wanted to share this pulse testing station with everyone on YouTube. Um, because I walked in this morning, it wasn't here last night, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and so everyone knows when you make a product and then you put it into the market and people count on it, and in our case, people count on our products um, to monitor like, very expensive equipment. You know, these, these, these Pulse things, I mean, th that could be attached to something that's worth millions of dollars. And the life of that device depends on our stuff being accurate down to one ten thousandth of a percent or possibly better. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. But that's the level of dedication. And that's how you create products um, that are just killer because I'll tell you there's a lot of stuff on the market out there made you know where that just it's not one ten thousandths of a percent it's like not even 99 percent accurate I mean you get what you pay for so, we're making a product that's not the lowest cost product that's out there. But you get what you pay for. You, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I can buy this sensor for, pick a number, $30. Why do you guys charge so much? That, that, that's, that's, that's why we charge so much. Because you don't want to risk millions of dollars on a $30 piece of equipment. So, I'm just going to say peace and uh, have a great day. If you have any questions about how to have a really good wireless high frequency pulse counter which you can use for a lot of applications one that you battery powered that you can just walk in and just stick it on the wall and have complete confidence that you're gonna have accuracy down to better than one ten thousandths of a percent, give us a call.